Wedding Impossible is beginning to get on my nerves. Can't Ji Han and Ah Jong just have their moments? Do Han was selfish and disappointing in the recently concluded episode 10. Understandably, he's driven by fear because of societal bias. But how could he try to force the marriage, knowing that his brother and Ah Jong have feelings for one another? It seems like he only knows how to take without knowing how to give. As suspected, Grandpa knows his secret. This could be the reason he tried so much to give the company to him, so he could protect himself. It's also the reason he easily accepted Ah Jong. Sung A is an annoying villain. I have a feeling she's about to open a rotten can of worms. I think Grandpa has been protecting her and her siblings from the truth, because their father might have a hand in their mother's death. Like Grandpa said, she's greedy and selfish. Hopefully, it will turn out that she and her brother are not the legitimate children of the family. This could be the reason Grandpa is adamant about not giving either of them the company. Maybe Dohan is the family's first legitimate grandson. To protect Ah John, as Dohan took his time in doing anything, Ji Han took the blame by going public about his feelings for Ah Jong. My heart breaks for them, as they face public contempt for what they didn't do. In all these, Ah Jong still tried to protect her friend, Dohan. In the preview for the next episode, Ah Jong can be seen racing to the press conference to be with Ji Han. However, she arrives late, as the conference is over. After Ji Han protects Ah Jong in his own way, he finally asks Do Han to live his life. He had tried to do what he thought was best for Do Han all their lives. It's time he finally let his selfish brother live his life the way he deems fit. Hopefully, Dohan will find a way to make amends for all the hurt he's caused to protect his secret. Having given up everything, Jihan will pull the disappearing act. However, after much searching, Ah Jong remembers to look for him in the village, where they had their little getaway. She can be seen tearfully saying goodbye to him, as the preview ends. Who do you want to inherit the company? Dohan or Jihan? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.